Hi students. Today we are going to discuss one of the topic in our uh, general regular terminology that is friction. Observe this picture. What we can say is that from the picture, a book is there on the table, and somebody is pushing the book. Right? Good. Means they are applying certain amount of the force on the book, and then they are pushing the book in one direction. Yes, I think you already observed clearly observed the picture. Now, let us answer some of the questions. The question is: If the book moves continuously, that is the question. Whenever the person pushes the book. is the book moves continuously the answer is no what does it mean up to certain distance only it moves then again it will comes to rest you already know that so that the answer for that question is the book does not move continuously so the answer is no come to the second question is the book moves with uniform speed What is uniform speed? At the starting point, how much speed is there? Same speed will be there up to the end, also. But the answer for that question is after observing, the book does not moves with uniform speed. So the for the second question also no. That means the book moves. Book moves with the. non uniform speed what does it mean at the very beginning the book moves with a great speed as the time interval increases the speed of the book gradually decreases now come to the third question what is the third question can you guess the reason for for what change in the speed of the book gradually this means at the very beginning the speed of the book is more as the time interval increases the speed of the book gradually decreases means there is a change in the speed what is the reason for that if you guess the guess is table is applying some opposing force on the book to the speed means the book which is moving in one direction in another opposite direction the table is also applying some force means between the surface of the book and the surface of the table some another force is acting which resist the speed of the book that is the answer for the third question now the answer is a resisting force at between table and book now the answer for the fourth question what is your conclusion the conclusion is nothing but whenever you are applying certain amount of the force on the book which is in contact with the table the table also applies some opposing force to the motion of the book this means there is an opposing force is developed because of the applied force on the book that means there is a contact force is developed between the surface of the book and as well as table this opposing contact force to the applied force will stop the book after certain time this opposing force is called friction so the fourth one the answer is nothing but the friction friction between where the table and the surface of the book now we will understand here word that is nothing but friction the friction is opposite to the force means the force is is applied in one direction in the another direction the force will be applied let us discuss some more examples to understand the concept of friction c 
see in this second example what do you observe from the given pictures from the picture one we can observe some rider means some the person who is riding on a bicycle the bicycle is under sand like a sand beach in the second example we can understand that the person is riding the bicycle on tar road or otherwise cement road that is the our observation one person is riding the bicycle in the sand another person is riding the bicycle on the tar road right good now come to the second question who will ride the bicycle easily the absolutely the answer is the person who is riding on the cement road the person who is riding the bicycle on the cement road will ride the bicycle easily now come to the next question who will stop early the person who is riding the bicycle on the sand the person who is riding the bicycle on the sand will stop early when compared to the person who is riding the bicycle on the cement road come to the fourth question is the person who is riding the bicycle on the tar road moves continuously no though the person who is riding on the tar road or otherwise cement road will stop after certain time whenever he stops pedaling but the difference is the person who is riding the bicycle on the sand floor will stop early when compared to the person who is riding the bicycle on the cement floor that means both the persons compulsory will comes to stop either it is a sand or otherwise cement floor now come to the fifth question what is your conclusion that is the question the conclusion is the person though he is riding on the sand floor or otherwise on the cement floor after certain time interval whenever he stops pedaling compulsory they will comes to rest what does it mean like in the early in the case of the book case also a invisible force is there in between the contact surface of the table and as well as the book like that only between the tire of the bicycle and the sand between the tire of the bicycle and the cement road an invisible force is applied which is in the opposite direction to the applied force means if the force is applied by the person in one direction and opposing force is applied in the opposite direction that opposing force is called friction this means the force which is resisting the motion of those bodies that is called friction for example for us many kind of the frictions we can observe we are moving in a drawing if you place your hand in the opposite direction means to the outside because of the air force our hand will moves in the backward direction this means there is a friction is there if you rub your both the hands what happens some amount of the heat will be generated why the heat is generated because of the opposing force what you applied means we are applying the force like this then some resulting force will be applied in the opposite direction because of the contact so frictional force is a contact force and opposing force we can't see it but is existed see if we see the tires of uh, vehicles after some days after some months after some years they are tired means they are burned they are going to reduce their life why because of the friction between the tires and as well as road it will comes to tear even a pen or pencil whatever it may be it will decreases its life because of the friction between the surface and as well as the object now let us discuss 
what is the definition of friction with a free body diagram now let us discuss what are the definitions of friction these are all various definitions what we will get till now from our discussion see the third one first the force which opposes the relative motion of two bodies those two bodies must and should be in contact means if you observe here the book or whatever it may be or otherwise the bicycle that is in contact with the road or otherwise whenever we are rubbing the hands one hand is in contact with the another hand or air is touching the wall so the air surface and the wall surface are in contact okay now these bodies must and should oppose means if one of the body is moving in the front direction because of the friction it should will comes to stop now come to the second definition the force means friction is a force what the force can do holds back what it should back the movement of a sliding object means one of the object which is at the rest for example say sand is at rest or the cement floor is at rest which is moving the book or otherwise the bicycle rider is uh, moving then their sliding will be stopped such force is called uh, friction the force that holds back the movement of a sliding object is called friction now let us come to this it is the resistance resistance is nothing but opposing force same terminology same meaning but the terminology will be different it is the resistance to the for what it is resistance motion of an object this means one of the object is in motion another object is at rest relative to the another object or otherwise both the objects also will be in motion wherever it may be the opposing force is developed that opposing force is cause for stopping the relative motion of object that force is called friction you can understand these are all the definitions of friction yes let us discuss the conceptualization of the friction mathematical relation of the friction see we already know this is a free body diagram we already said what is a free body diagram if all the different kinds of the forces which is acting on the body is simply represented by using a single diagram is called free body diagram this is a free body diagram now let us consider in the first case weighted as well as normal in the case one case one weight is equals to mg that is equals to normal why because both of them acting in the same vertical direction then f net is equals to mg plus of minus n why because both of them are acting in the opposite direction then f net is equals to here both of them are equal but opposite in direction then the net force becomes zero so the body does not move either in the upward direction or in the downward direction let us consider the force is applied in this direction means we are pushing the object in this direction for that purpose the body also moves with certain velocity in the same direction of force the direction of force and the direction of velocity is the same but because of the applied force because of the friction the friction is acting in the opposite direction now in these two forces which force is more force applied by you is more that means f is greater than small f that means f net is equal to capital f plus of minus small f why you take in minus as per the sign convention it is in the opposite direction as we already explained while in the free body diagrams that we can understand now f net is equal to what happens capital f minus small f what is capital f applied force what is small f frictional force if 
applied force is more than the body moves with certain velocity. This means whenever you are continuously applying the force on the body, because of the continuous opposing force, body moves with certain velocity. If you stop the applied force on the body, velocity gradually decreases because of the applied friction between the surface of the body and as well as surface of the another body. This means friction is placing a very important crucial role in the nature. Let us discuss what are the different kinds of the factors in the next video. Thank you.